Hello, my name is Dawn Butler of Dinky Doodle Designs and in this tutorial I want to show you how to get the best out of your Dinky Doodle Pearl Spray by being able to make a true silver. So loads of people ask me all the time, well is this pearl or is it silver and how do I get silver? Or they want a white wedding cake with a pearlized finish. This colour is so versatile it will actually do both. So the first thing that we need to do with it is make sure that we've mixed our colour properly. Now with all my pearl colours and my iridescent colours, I always suggest that you give it a good stir first with the end of a paintbrush, replace the lid, not forgetting to screw the cap nice and tightly, and give it a shake for probably only about 5-10 seconds. Just make sure that all the colour has been mixed together properly. Okay and take off the lid again and pour some in my airbrush. Now don't forget we're only going to go with a half full cup, okay? Now I'm just going to spray on the paper that I've got to the side just so that I know that I've got the colour coming through. Okay, there we go. I know that I've got pearl and nothing else that's been in there before. And I'm now going to spray onto my white cupcake. Now it's ever such a subtle finish. I'm not sure whether the camera will pick it up but you should be able to see that it's gone from a lovely white sugar paste cupcake to a beautiful pearlized finish. Absolutely gorgeous for a wedding cake. Really stunning that one is. Perfect. Okay, so I've now got black cupcake. Now this one's actually black sugar paste, but you can just spray your sugar paste, your white sugar paste black. But the key is, if you're using white sugar paste, you've airbrushed black, you must allow the black to dry first. So this one here, just for speed, I've just picked up some black sugar paste. And I'm now going to spray the same pearl colour over the top of my black. Okay, just had enough there to do that. Do you see the difference? So it's a really true silver, but because we've placed it on top of black, it turns it from pearl to silver. So a really versatile colour. Now don't think that you've got to be forced to putting that through an airbrush. What if you want to make alloy wheels, for instance, on a novelty car cake? You can actually still use it with a paintbrush, and all I would simply do is make sure that I'd mixed my colour thoroughly, pop it in a cup, and then simply use it with a paintbrush. So there it is, how to get the most of your dinky doodle pearl colour.